using the VI editor to create and save text files. This CD video tutorial shows you the steps to create and save text files and also how to quit out of the editor without saving changes that have been made to a file if you decide that you don't need the changes that you've made. The VI editor can be used to create a new file by simply typing in VI and then pressing enter. After you type in some text you can do the steps to save the file and give it a name. This time we're going to run the VI editor and I'm going to type in the name of a file. When this is done, the name is either the name of a new file that will be created or the name of an existing file. When you type in VI and then the name of a file such as notes.txt, the file will either be created in the current directory, if it doesn't exist, or you will be editing an existing file named notes.txt. I'm going to add a path in front of the file name. A path can also be specified in front of the name of a file. Notice that a space is used between VI and the path, but not between the path and the file name. This command would allow us to edit a file named notes.txt in the CWest directory below the home directory. If the file didn't exist, it could be created, and if it did exist, you would see the contents of it. Now I'm going to remove the path. The current directory is the home directory of the root user, and we want to create the file named notes.txt here. I'm pressing enter. Notice that there's no text in this file. Therefore, we're creating a new file rather than editing an existing file. The name of the file appears at the bottom of the screen along with the words new file. If you know that you need to create a new file, then the easiest way to run VI is simply type in VI and the name of the file and press enter. This will save you from having to do a few steps later on to give the file a name after you've typed in some text. The VI editor has two modes. These modes are normal mode and insert mode. Normal mode is used for running commands and insert mode is used for typing text into the editor and this text will be saved in the file. When you first start the VI editor, you are in what is referred to as normal mode. You can run VI commands when you're in normal mode, but you can't type text into the file. I want to type some text into this file, so I'm pressing the letter I, which stands for insert. Watch the bottom left of the screen, and you can see now that I'm in insert mode. Rather than typing the letter I, you could press the insert key on the keyboard to go into insert mode. Typing I or pressing the insert key changes the mode from normal mode to insert mode. So I'm going to type in some text. I've typed in all of the text that I need for now, and so I'm going to write the text into the file on disk and quit out of the editor. The file was given a name when we started the editor, so we don't need to use the W command to assign a name to the file. We can simply use WQ to write the file to disk and quit. Have a look at the bottom of the screen. We're still in insert mode. I'm pressing the escape key to go into normal mode so that we can run the command to save the file and quit. Now I'm typing in a colon, and you can see it at the bottom of the screen, and I'm typing in a W and a Q to quit out of the editor. Now you can see the notes.txt file that was just created. When we ran the VI editor, we typed in VI and then notes.txt. A path wasn't typed in prior to the name of the file, therefore the file was created in the current directory. If you know that you need to edit an existing file, then type in VI and then the name of the file. Be sure to type in the path to the file if the file isn't in the current directory. We're in the home directory of the root user and we want to edit the existing file that was just created named notes.txt. I'm pressing the up arrow key and again and pressing enter. This opens the file named notes.txt in the editor. Let's say at this point I realize I don't need to make a change to the file. Therefore, to exit out of the editor without saving the file, and I haven't made any changes to it anyway, I'm going to type in a colon, a Q, and press enter. You can simply type a colon and then a Q and press enter to exit out of a file if you haven't made any changes to it. Now I'm pressing the up arrow key so that I can edit the file again, and I'm pressing enter. When you start the editor, you're in normal mode. Notice that the word insert doesn't appear at the bottom of the screen. To add some text to the file, I type in the letter I or press the insert key, and you can see we're in insert mode. Let's say that I typed in some text and then I decided that I didn't want to keep my changes, and I type colon Q and press enter, and I didn't exit out of the file. The reason
reason that the command didn't work is because I wasn't in normal mode. So I'm going to press the escape key to go into normal mode. And I'm going to type in a colon, a Q, and press enter. And I get a message down at the bottom of the screen. No write. In other words, it didn't save the file since the last change. And if you want to exit without writing the file, add an exclamation mark to override. And what this means is the editor is stopping you from quitting unless you type in an exclamation mark to indicate that you don't want to save the file. Therefore, I'm going to type in colon, Q, and exclamation mark, and press enter, and this quits without saving my changes. I'm going to press up arrow and press enter. And you can see that the stuff that I typed in a few seconds ago wasn't saved into the file when I exited out of the file. Now I'm going to type in colon Q and press enter to quit. And I was able to do it that time because I was in normal mode. I hadn't gone into insert mode, so I didn't have to press escape to go back into normal mode. I was already in normal mode. I hadn't typed anything into the file. I could simply type in colon Q to quit out of the editor. And that was a look at how to use the VI editor to do the steps to create and save text files, and also how to quit out of the editor without saving changes if you don't need the changes that you've made to a file.